Uh, that's really, I'm excited though, that would be great. All right, uh, I wanna mention something that happened on our show last Friday. Last Friday was a huge night for our show. Uh, with the help of an MIT physicist, Professor Peter Fisher, I finally, finally broke the ring spin record of 41 seconds. I've been spinning my ring on the show uh, during the strike, trying to uh, kill time. And, uh, <laughs> but also, because uh, it's just good television. And um, I finally broke the ring spin record, which was 41 seconds. It was very exciting. Take a look. Great, I flipped out. I had to be medicated, and I was under a doctor's care for the entire weekend. I was so excited. Um, and I was not the only one who was excited. Celebrations broke out all over the country. All over the United States, yeah, people went nuts. People were very happy, but of course, and this always happens, it starts out fine, but people got too excited. Uh, some violence broke out, and then, of course, things started to escalate. Uh, people angry that the record had been broken and tipping cars over. That was my cab that was tipped over. Uh, so as you can see, it got a little out of hand. But here's the saddest part, because I have people rioting and people getting hurt. I don't care about that. The really... <laughs> it didn't happen to me. <laughs> but the really sad part uh, about the uh, ring spin ending is that uh, throughout the ring spin, I, we've been timing uh, the ring spins uh, with my, uh, my good friend Susie Santamoro has been timing them in the booth. And uh, we would cut to her and I would talk to her and we won't be seeing Susie Santamoro anymore. Susie's my friend and she does a great job. And this whole phenomenon has put her on television for the first time. And I gotta tell you, Susie and I had a great chemistry that people really fell in love with. Check out this typical scene. Do you think I can do it tonight? Do you think I can break the record of 41 seconds, Susie? I hope not, because I like being on TV. <laughs> just honest, she's adorable, uh, she sleeps in a walnut shell, uh, she's very tiny, uh, bathes in a dewdrop, uh, comes to work hanging on a dragonfly, it's beautiful stuff. So I was thinking about it this morning and I was depressed, I thought we're not going to see Susie on TV anymore, and is that any way for it to end for her? And I thought, no, let's shine the spotlight on Susie one last time. Now if there's one thing I know about Susie Santamoro, I know that she loves her 80s hits. She just loves her 80s classics. So I thought, what if I grab my guitar tonight and we had Susie, she doesn't have to go anywhere. She can stay in the booth and she can use that little microphone there. What if we had her sing George Michael's Faith? Wouldn't that be something? Wouldn't that be nice? This pick is jammed in here. I don't seem to have a pick here anymore. Anybody got a pick? You wanna run a pick over to me? Is there one over here? Oh, here? Oh yeah, okay, okay. We got one right here, all right. <laughs> And still, I'll fire him. Uh, <laughs> I'm cruel and arbitrary. All right, Susie, are you okay with this idea of singing uh, George Michael's Faith on TV? Sure. <laughs> Susie, it's that kind of raw enthusiasm that will carry this bit through, I think, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do it in A. Is that your favorite key, Susie? It is. Okay. It's the one I know it in. All right, I'm gonna start you off, Susie. Let's try it out, okay? Okay. Well, I guess it would be nice if I could touch your body. I know not everybody has got a body like you. But I gotta think twice before I give my heart away. Cause I know all the games you play. Cause I play them too. Stick around. Yeah.